Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And today I'm walking in my backyard in Southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains. And I'm layered up here because it's mid-March. We're having a little bit of a cold spell here. And I thought this would be a great day to take you and find a plant called teaberry or wintergreen. Teaberry is maybe best known for its use as a gum. Teaberry gum was invented by David Clark at the turn of the century in Allegheny, Pennsylvania, and he wanted to replicate the taste of this amazing plant in his gum. Clark went on also to be famous for his Clark Bar, and it's a company that has been in a family for years and years. So Teaberry inspired him. It has a delicate, some say sophisticated flavor, more complex than the mints like spearmint and peppermint. And if you look carefully at a package of tea berry gum, you're going to see a little tiny picture of tea berry right on the package. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can go out, find tea berry, where to look for it, how to recognize it, and some things about its natural history. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So how am I going to go about finding tea berry to show you today? Well, one of the things I look for is acidic soils. And what indicates acidic soils to me in this area? If there's rhododendron or mountain laurel or blueberries, you've got acidic soil. So I look for those plants. And if those plants are around, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find tea berry growing along the ground as a prostrate plant with thick green small leaves. The scientific name of wintergreen is Galtheria procumbens. And the trail has opened up a little bit here. I see some mountain laurel around us. This will be a good place to find some wintergreen. And looking over here, I can see some green leaves. And I find this is the time of the year that it's easiest to spot wintergreen because the leaves have a uh, kind of laid down. We're not competing for attention with other plants and they're not hidden by summer or spring foliage. And here are some wintergreen plants. So you can see here that they have these oblong leaves. They feel thick like a succulent plant's leaves. They grow very low to the ground. And once you find one, you can see that they scatter around. This is probably all from one plant because the plants grow primarily from their underground rhizomes and spread underground and they're actually considered a shrub because they have this woody growth that grows back every year. So they're a perennial. They're evergreen which also gives their, the name wintergreen because they're still green in the winter. Another plant you're likely to see when looking for wintergreen, because they occur in the same habitat and also prefer acidic soils like rhododendron and blueberry and mountain laurel. And it is striped wintergreen or Pipsissawa. And I just did an episode on Pipsissawa, like wintergreen, also known as tea berry, because it makes a great tea. Striped wintergreen also makes a great tea. And it has a wintergreen tag on it again because it's green all winter. You might want to check out my Pipsissawa or Striped Wintergreen episode on my channel. Wintergreen can be very abundant where it grows. And to identify it for sure, you can take a leaf like this and break it and smell it. And you get that amazing scent of wintergreen that's really unique. You can also taste it. And the leaves aren't particularly good to eat, but they give a nice, refreshing flavor in your mouth. So if you're hiking on the Appalachian Trail or camping and you find wintergreen, you can pick a leaf off and put it in your mouth and experience that, that wonderful minty wintergreeny flavor that is in tea berry gum. So you know, I always say, just like I do about mushrooms, there is as many 
toxic plants and mushrooms out there as there are edible ones. So be very, very careful what you choose. But if you find this minty freshness, this minty scent to it, you can be pretty confident that you've found wintergreen. Another caution is that the active ingredient in wintergreen is wintergreen oil, which is methyl salicylate. And methyl salicylate is very similar in chemical structure to aspirin. So if you're allergic to aspirin, you're going to be allergic to this plant as well. Wintergreen was used by indigenous peoples in many different forms of medicine, particularly as an anti-inflammatory and analgesic for aches and pains. It was also used to give to warriors when they're carrying big loads. It was said to open up their lungs and refresh their breath so that they could carry these big loads a long distance. I've read many times in Appalachian literature that tea berry ice cream was the favorite ice cream to make and the favorite flavor that was flavored by this plant. It's also used in candies and of course, tea berry gum. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. My teacher always said, don't do a presentation with gum in your mouth. I hope you'll check out my other episodes, check out my playlists on woodland wildflowers and plants on my channel. And if you like what I do, please subscribe and give me a like. And I love hearing comments from my viewers and I'll answer back as soon as I can. So fire any questions you got for me. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.